Hello, PSA collectors. Yeah, that just doesn't sound right, does it, guys? All right, got a PSA order just come back in. It's in no particular order. Literally, it came in early this morning, and I didn't even really go through it, but I want to get the video knocked out because I got a lot going on. I'll talk about that probably in a future video coming up this week. But you guys ready? Now, I will say the top card was mine originally, and I just got it back, actually. <laughs> it was Dwayne Wade. PSA 9. So, this this wasn't part of the order, but I'm just going to add to it, because there's not much of a mail day coming in. And that'll be explained in a future video, too. You guys ready for some cool stuff? Check this out. Studio Platinum Credit Card Griffey got a 10. Very, very happy on this. You guys remember I had the gold one. I sold it. Um, I was hoping that this would come back at 10. So, so happy. Oh, this is Joey's card. I got to put that up there. But you guys want to see it. It's just he, he got a 9 on the Shaq draft pick. I think he's due something like 26 to $35 or something he was saying. All right, let me make sure these are all the same. Uh, nope, these aren't all the same. I'm going to put these down there for the stack of these. Up next, Upper Deck 3 Kobe PSA 9. Really was hoping for the 10 on this. It looked really, really good. But 9 still gets me a little bit of money on to this stuff. Well, I should say it gives me a good bit of wiggle room from what the value is and what I have in it. Pretty cool piece on to it. Kobe Bryant. This one here, a little bit disappointed in, came back in 8. I thought it was a good strong 9 going in, but it's a Skybox Premium Rookie. Even as an 8, I still make money on this, which is always the positive at the end of the day. Keeping with their tradition at Kobe Bryant's, they just like, hey dude, here's a 9. Coast to coast, tops chrome. I think, Steve, if you're watching the video, I think this is one of the ones you wanted. I'll pull this off to the side for the show, but I'll send you a text here. Heck, by the time this video comes out, you probably already got the card. Up next, this hurt. Bowman's Best. This has Jordan, um, Mawberry, Mercer, and Gary Payton on it. I don't know what I missed to get an 8. I thought it was a good strong 9, possible 10. So, as you can see, even I mess up on this stuff occasionally. But I'll just leave it as an 8. I have some 10s of this card. This one here, another one they got me on. Game Action Red. This is out of 2300. I thought this was going to be between an 8 and a 9. It came back a 7. And the only reason I was grading this is I already have a 9 in this card. But it did have some whiting on the top right corner. And when I looked at some of my other stuff, I'm like, oh, this is a good 8. But to have these, find these, I mean, there's 2300 copies, as you can see right there. But I don't know what it'll go for now. Um, hope at least get my slab feedback. I was trying to see where these other ones are. See, I told you they were in no particular order. All right. Up next, Gold Sparkle. Anthony Davis, PSA 10. Last Ross selling this was like $230. Now, these Gold Sparkles are serial numbered out of 24. I'll show you guys right there. Pretty cool card. I don't know. Maybe it doubles the value being a 10. No idea. It is Anthony Davis, of course, but we'll see what happens with it. You know, I'm kind of happy with that out of the whole deal. I picked this up from uh, the Salem Sports Card Show. I think I paid like $3 for this, and it came back PSA 10. Shading Sharp Variation. And I'm going to apologize now to uh, Wildcat. You've already been watching this for a while. I don't think there's any football in this order. There may be football, but there's not football. I'm pretty sure on it. So I do apologize. You're probably sitting through this going, where is the football? 2022 Select um, Benedict Matherin, Orange Flash, PSA 10. And this I only got graded because I'm down here at uh, Pacer area. So this will sell real good. Okay, there they all are. I picked five of these up. I think I was in them for like $10 a card plus 19 to grade them. I was hoping for a 10. I thought I at least had two. If the top grade doesn't tell you what the whole stack is, I don't know what to tell you guys. But they're still selling like 60 bucks as nine, so I'll make a little bit of money on to them. 
And I can't believe it. Every one of these PSA 9 Not 110. I almost want to crack a couple of these and send them back in, but it's just really not worth it. A 10 is worth $280, I think. Here, 260 or 280 But we're just going to take it and move it on. Up next, this was a nice Jordan. This is one of my favorites. Um, PSA 9. This is the history class. Pretty cool hollow onto it. I looked at that one. Thankfully, I got it right. And these were all out of that Louisville collection, a good bit of this stuff. Anthony Davis, mosaic stained glass. And PSA 10, they're doing $100, so kind of cool. I know these, like, raw are like, oh gosh, I think they're like $30. They, they were at the time frame. They were really cheap for a stained glass. This was another one out of that collection. LeBron James Gold Money Shimmer. PSA 10. Last sale is a 10. 150 to 160 range. I know you guys probably want me to start putting pictures up on stuff on comps, but I looked this stuff up. About a 500. Pretty cool. LeBron. This was really shocking. I thought it was going to be an 8, to be honest. It's the Fleer Gamers Lumber PSA 9 Frank Thomas. It's not worth a whole lot of money, but there's a lot of Frank Thomas collectors out there. And I figured, what the heck. I mean, like, raw, I think these are like 5 to $10 cards. So, might be a little bit more. I can't remember off it. Wow, they actually put this in a... There's plastic on this. I just haven't noticed that. That was not for me. That's kind of crazy. I never knew they did that. And then final card. It's football, but not football. Hedgery, this was encased. Um, still sealed by Panini. Got a 10. Yeah, I know Pedri's stuff's really declined, but I try to pick up soccer here and there. It will become good again eventually out there one day. So not really too bad overall on this submission. Um... I want to say if I sold every card at what the value was on there, I'm probably making, uh, I don't know, I always get asked this every now and then. We'll just say if I was in this for like 500 for everything and the value is probably like between 15 and 1700 Now you got to add the $20 a card for grading too into it, so probably about, I don't know. What nineteen cards, another three eighty. So probably about double my money up onto it. Uh little but probably a little over double. So not bad overall. Appreciate you guys always watching the video. Um be on the lookout for my next video. It's a little bit shocking what I'm venturing into next. Uh, I gave it a lot of thought. Actually it's been years of thought, and just recently I decided to take a little leap of faith. Alright guys, take care. Appreciate it. Catch y'all next video.